Sharing kids with a narcissist is one of the most difficult parts of either leaving that relationship or interacting with a narcissist once you have left. And if you co-parent with a narcissist, you probably notice that when the kids come back from the narcissist's house, they are much more angry, they're more rambunctious, they're destructive in some way, they're mean, they're saying or doing things that they would never say or do at your house. And this radical behavior change can be so disheartening when you're looking at your sweet little angel baby and you're wondering whose child is this? Every situation is gonna be different and so understand that YouTube videos are meant to be helpful and give guidance to you, but there's no possible way that I could speak specifically to your situation and the situation of every single person who's watching this video. So with that being said, there are some things that you can do to start easing the transition period for your kiddos. First, let's start with the transition from your house to the narcissist's house. One of the things that you need to stay away from is trying to bribe your kids in order to go with their unhealthy parent. There are several reasons for this. One, you will constantly have to up that bribe every time that you're doing a transition. So if you start with A, understand that the next time you're gonna to have to go to B, and the next time you're gonna to have to go to C, and this can really get out of hand, and it ends up draining you of trying to think of ways to bribe your kid, and it, even more, it upsets the child because their anxiety levels are getting higher and higher and are taking longer to settle down and bring them back into a calm state of being instead of teaching them actual coping mechanisms. The second reason is because you don't want to teach your child that if somebody offers them a high enough price that it's worth giving up their feeling of security and safety. So instead, try making a ritual or a habit around the transition period so that it eases this situation for your child. So for example, pick a place like a specific park that you only go to during the days of transition or maybe you do something else with them that you normally don't do. Like maybe you let them ride in the front of the car if that's appropriate for their age or something else that is only done on the days of transition. Another thing that you can do is have an activity jar where the kids get to pick an activity out of this jar and then they put it on the fridge or a chalkboard or a whiteboard or whatever it is that you have in your house as a place where it's kind of framed. They can look at it and see that this is something that they get to look forward to and do the day that they come home uh, from the narcissist. This is especially important if you video chat your children while they are gone, because this can keep them feeling secure and continue to give them hope about their future. On the days that they come back, and especially if you are getting your kids directly from the narcissist, so in other words, you're not picking your kids up from school or from daycare or from a friend's house or whatever it would be, but you are actually meeting the narcissist to do the transition, then allow the children freedom in how they end the interaction with the narcissist and begin the interaction with you. So for example, one of, one of the things that you could say is choose a way to say goodbye to dad. And this could be that they say a verbal goodbye, that they wave, that they give a hug. But either way, it's up to them. You want to give them a way to interact with the narcissist on their terms. This is so important for the long run of building up your child's confidence, of getting them to use their voice, of building up their self-esteem and their overall feeling of security. When they get back to your house, and if it's not too late, then give them three to five choices of ways that they can spend the next 30 minutes. Again, when they come back, they're typically full of energy, they're very rambunctious, and honestly, this is just a response of being back in an area where they feel very safe and secure. But you do definitely want to channel that energy so that they're not destroying your house or hurting each other or whatever the situation might be specifically with your kids. Again, you're also teaching them that they do have choices and about what happens in their life and that they are loved without performing and that you value what they truly want and like. The types of activities that you give your children to choose from should fill your children's love tank. This means that you need to know your child's love language. In the description of this video, I have linked the test that you can take on behalf of your children, or you can have them take it themselves if they're old enough to do that. 
But you need to understand that when your child comes back from the narcissist, even if they are the golden child, or even if the narcissist is in the love bombing stage of abuse with the children, that your child's love tank is very much depleted. So knowing your child's love language and being able to speak that love language right away immediately when they come back will help fill it up. So choose activities that will speak to your children's love language and fill that tank up. For example, buying your child a new teddy bear when they come home will not fill up their love tank if their love language is physical touch or quality time. So once again, just pick something that is actually going to be speaking to your child and filling up their love tank. The quicker you can get your child into a routine from leaving the narcissist's house and then coming into your safe environment, the better and easier these transition periods will be. I can't cover all of the dimensions of how to ease the transitions between the narcissist and your house and vice versa for your child, but I do wanna point out something else that is often overlooked, which is that as much as you possibly can, adjust your schedule to fit the transition periods. If you know that the first night or two that your child is home, they don't go to bed at their normal bedtime, that they wanna sleep in your bed, that they have nightmares, or even that they wet the bed, then plan in advance to have your schedule accommodate the transitions as much as you possibly can. You don't want to have your energy of frustration or anxiety get transferred to your children. So if you have more freed up space for you to be present with your children, there's less likely of a chance of that transference happening. Also understand that like so many other situations with a narcissist that nothing happens overnight. It will take you being consistent and constant for these rituals to take hold with your children. But know that you are not sowing into bad ground. These are your kids. Your constant dedication of sowing these seeds of love into their soil will bear fruit. There is no greater job on earth that trumps being a parent. So even on your most difficult days, keep the end goal in mind. You are raising happy, healthy, well-adjusted, and prepared children, and they are so worth it. If you want even more help in showing up as a healthy parent for your children in spite of the narcissist, then text the word DETOX to 512-677-9322 and see if you qualify to join my Narcissistic Detox Intensive. You and your children are worth investing in apart from the narcissist. And just in case nobody has told you or acknowledged this in you lately, you are doing an amazing job. Seriously, raising a child is not an easy task and it's especially difficult when you have to talk to the narcissist and have your own emotions, your own plans, your own schedule disrupted all of the time by the narcissist antics. So if nobody has told you lately that you're doing an amazing job, I want you to know I see you, I acknowledge you, and I honor you for the work that you are doing with your child. To get more suggestions on how to start tuning out the narcissist, check out this video.